Hi, Bill Griffith here. Uh, so I showed you the unboxing of this TJ Bot. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you how I actually assembled it and a few little tricky parts. So if you go up here to Instructables, uh, you'll see this one, Build TJ Bot out of cardboard. Uh, this is the one that I followed through. Uh, you see Lisa's actually unboxing it too. That's a good one to check out. <clears throat> how to print it out yourself. And I sort of followed through, going through. I went really slow with my... Uh, eight-year-old son and it took us about an hour and a half to be you know really careful and look back and forth um, but so this is pretty good uh, a few little tricky parts uh, and then the other one that I like is this animation called TJ bot assembly uh, this just kind of shows you how to assemble it in a, and, and you just pause right okay so that's a step now I fold that over you know uh, the challenge is here at the end, it uh, kind of doesn't show you how the wires are plugged in, like the LED. It's just showing the LED there, but obviously you got to have wires off that LED into this uh, bread uh, breadboard into the um, uh, Raspberry Pi. So that's what I'm going to show you uh, just to kind of finish this up for you. <clears throat> All right. All right, so here's the Adafruit. Just assembled it. Now I'm going to take it apart and show you a few tricky parts here. See the LED through the hole here. See the wires. Here's the speaker, USB. Kind of tuck those in here up through the bottom of the pie. Got the little USB speaker. Uh, RJ45 jack so I can hook up the uh, Ethernet. I'm going to actually do that with the Mac to share the network so I can boot this guy up uh, headlessly. All right, now let me show you a couple things here. Take this off. All right, put those pins in. I actually had to bend them and uh, go through the hole here. Now the other thing not very obvious, I actually had to Google, is where the little SIM card goes. You see here, it goes in a certain way, facing out. And that guy comes into here in your little disc, you put it in here. And then you put it in your computer, and that allows you to uh, boot it up and modify those files. So put that in right there. And then you see the servo motor, wrap that around under. Um, then the camera pin. And you see here I had, um, let's see here, that pin came out with some, uh, some, um, yeah, it had male ends, so I hooked up a female here and two female ends on this. Now, I had a problem with the LED, so I had to swap it over to 5 volt. I'll show you a pin out in a second here. And so here's the uh, wiring. You see, as I said, it says 3.3, uh, but uh, I actually moved uh, the power, uh, this red power here, down to this pin right here, <clears throat> which is also 5 volt. Um, and then match up these pins. So I just count it. Uh, but now let's check out the um, the Raspberry Pi so you'll see the, the names of these and uh, the power and all of that. Uh, so here's the Raspberry Pi uh, model, uh, Pi 3 Model B, a 5 volt USB supply. And you see here's the pin out that I was talking about. Notice the orientation of the uh, the Raspberry Pi, the Ethernet ports, and USB ports on the bottom. <clears throat> and so these are GPIO pins, general purpose input output pins. And you see here, this is the 5 volt, as I was saying with the LED. Uh, originally I was plugged into pin 1, uh, but I had some issues, so I had to pull it off of this pin 1 and uh, move the power to 5 volt uh, so it had enough power. Um, otherwise, otherwise, you'd need a uh, level converter from 3 to 5. I think the LED needs uh, 5 volts. Uh, but get these pins matched up correctly. They just kind of fit on there. You don't have to solder or anything. And then you're good to go. Now, put this back on. And um, with the, um, the speaker here, I uh, wish the US, I uh, wish the cord wasn't so long. Um, little stereo speaker. 
but I uh, put a bread tie on it, kind of roll it up, put it in under the board, <clears throat> and it still sort of sticks out, but when you put the head on, you will um, be good. It'll kind of lock it in there for you. You gotta be careful of these cables. You want them to stay connected. Make sure that eye for the camera is lined up. And there's your speakers on the back. And uh, then you can uh, power it from USB. Here's a little mini USB. Fits right in, right in there. Uh, or HDMI with a keyboard. So we'll do that now. Thanks.